All right, here we go. We got to play Savannah's. This is it. I got to win this game. All right, we're against Chiron. Pretty good. All right. So we are in the new month, and then which means that uh, I'm pretty much updating. Everything should be updated. My stream schedule should be updated. My uh, Patreon, you know, all that good stuff. I know I've been talking about it a lot, but it's like uh, it's just been work in progress. But other than that, uh, everything should be good now. And I'm just I'm happy to finally have everything up as a schedule. So it's it's just really nice. Now let's get a against Chiron, right? A pro gamer move is to get upgraded Curse Donkey against him because every time he uses ability, he heals. But I'm not gonna do that early game. I think early game I will get a Aegis, maybe. Pretty good against his alt or his two. I would get a Bracer, except that since I have healing, he's probably gonna get anti heal, you know? Oh, let's re up the fire. Important you do this before blue buff spawns. Hey, man. X Gamer is a cool guy. He always plays the, the low tiers as well. Respectable. Right. Walked into that, that's fine. Get him with the two, run away. Got a bunch of healing. It's always start Hunter's Blessing on Sylvanas and transition into auto attack. Usually good. You can go full Mage Sylvanas, but you will need a Sunder. That's what I used to do anyways. But then they nerf Sunder, where it's only good if you upgrade it. And that just makes it too hard to get online. Same thing with upgrade Curse Donk in this matchup. That Chiron heals almost nothing, but it counts as a heal, so upgrade Curse Donk is just kind of a silly thing to get against him. That works out. If I could pull him into power here. Yep. That was you. Take. Oh, am I dead to his too? Ooh, no. Okay. Now, I have more healing then. Might stay. Just pop him up potions and stuff constantly. Power a tiny bit, you know? Actually, we have about the same amount of healing. My healing is not that much. Neither is his. Okay, rooted him so he couldn't sing like he did last time. Oh, again, got him. Oh, you got a level 5, though, right off of that. Damn. I got level 5, too, but a little bit after him. Not eh, close. I, I like this matchup, though. It's, it's a nice, even matchup. Nothing too OP on either sides. Uh, I love playing Chiron myself. I'll probably upload a full gameplay of him, actually. He's uh, he's very fun. And his since his one has CC immunity, he has a lot of outplay potential. And of course, his ult is, you know, race big snipe. Yeah, so he's, he's a lot of fun to play. Hmm. Now let's get this. We have tier 2 Bancrofts, which gives us a lot of power. Which is good. Once our Hunter's Blessing evolves, we get a lot more damage too. We gotta hmm. kill minions. Interestingly enough, not everyone knows this. Hunter, like Hunter's Blessing, like a lot of the Blessings actually, they don't uh, stack off of buffs at all. So, only minion waves. Surprisingly, a lot of people don't don't realize that. So it takes a l long to stack because you can't just buff after buffs and stuff like that. that be much about. Mm. Want my best chances here? Maybe try and get a blind pull again. Oh my god! But this time, no! Oh, dang it! You activate it too early. That's tough. Should have just did the alt right away, right when I pulled him. That's what I should have done. That would have been a good thing. It's okay. That's okay. Heal up. Took my little, my little flower at blue buff, unfortunately. Gotten so many blind pulls this game, man. Got so many, but they do not. They are not helping. Oh yes, that again. No. Oh. That ult is very good. I probably should not have stayed. Put that Bancroft's online. Okay, okay. 
Now, a thing you used to be able to do with Sylvanas is just go into rings and skip boots. I didn't like skipping boots very often, but you had the option to. You can't really do that now because they don't give movement speed. But if you're going, if you're going high risk, high reward, you could do it. You would just be very immobile. I don't think that's a good idea against a hunter, so we will get boots next. Yeah, he went attack speed boots on Chiron. Chiron is not an auto attack based character. There. Got him! That's so much damage. That's so much damage. It's nice because you won't get defense for a bit because you went transcendence, which is good for me. Okay, okay, you know, we're only 600 gold behind. That's like nothing. Here lives a happy little tree. It's going well. Like, not that well, but it's going well. I'm Sylvanas at the end of the day. I used to think Sylvanas was one of the worst gods in Duel, and then Hunter's Blessing came out, and it made him quite a bit better. It, most of the time, you end up out clearing your opponent at the start of the game, and then you can actually, uh, actually get easy first blood. Just depends on who you're against, though. This game, uh, I was a little wait late to wave because I was late to place a flower there. Blue buff just came up. Your wave first. Oh. Okay. I really don't want him to get my blue buff. I think he's going for it, though. You can actually shoot Savant's autos over the wall to try and steal a buff. No, I can't do it. He already took it. Buff. Those are doing about twice as much as mine. Because my blessing isn't evolved yet. That was smart. He used his three, cancelled it because he knew I was going to root him. And then he backstepped. That was really smart. X Gamer is a very good player. I'm just trying to make friends. I have hit like every single one of these into tower. Oh my god, I should have ulted. For some reason, I thought it would be a bad idea to ult, but no, that was the perfect opportunity to ult. Because the tower wasn't focusing him at first, and then I switched him. It was so weird. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Those juke zones got him. Nice. Oh, no. No sense of humor. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice. That's so good. Yes. This is such a good game. It's so even. I love these even games. This is what I live for. Okay. Now, we're going to need the defense. That's a given. Oh, what kind? Hmm. You no, know, let's go with an Ian. I like the Mian against Hunters, just for the simple fact that it reflects physical damage as a, you know, and you're a magical character. So, it, you know, it gives us a slight edge there if they're not, if they're building magical defense, which, you know, they're going to. Am I Hunter's Blessing involved? This is very good. This is looking good. Now, normally I'd go Breastplate, but Devonis doesn't need cooldowns that much, whereas like Terra and Sobek, Cerberus, those gods need cooldown. The model's not too much, because he has his auto attacks, you know? Auto attacks are ranged, they're nice, they're good poke. Oh. We have been hitting almost every pull today. Even though I died two times, you can't say I haven't been doing good. Right? It's just my follow-up for the pulls were not the greatest. Get some tower damage. Get up the objective. A lot harder. At max range, it's kind of hard to juke uh, some autos. Honestly. Got Blink. Interesting. Honestly, I think I might go... You know, his healing isn't even that much. Just might as well go upgrade his Thunder. It'll be better than Cursed Donk, actually. Like Cursed Donk, he still has to use an ability. That's smart. Okay, here's the thing though, is he still has his ult. If he gets me low enough, he can still kill me with said ult. If I pull him. Ow. At least he's not maxing the two. That's such good poke on Chiron. I like to max the two on Chiron in duel. Gives good poke. 
focusing me instead of the wave. Dead. Did way too much damage. Damn. 1800 from auto attacks. I'm still I'm still pretty immobile. That's the only thing, you know. Kyron has a dash. I really I realized the moment I was dead, it was like I just had nowhere to go, and he cleared the minions, you know, just with his auto attacks. He is not getting. Yeah. Uh, let us let us get that upgrade is under. Upgrade it, yeah, but you know. We're going a, a mix. We're going a burst Sylvanas with auto attack. Right now we're burst Sylvanas because we don't we only have hunter's blessing. Taking my buff. I don't like that. Thousand gold ahead because of that. He is taking every single buff. It is really annoying. Just smush it in. The Aussie, really? Okay. Well, I mean, I can always get Toxic Blade. It'll help me out quite a bit. Actually, if he's not getting defense, I guess I'll get Toxic Blade next. No reason to get Demonic right now. Alkynes is a little bit too early for. Okay. Bad. Alright, right now he's got the advantage. Big time, man. He does so much more damage than me right now. Let's have a nice heal. Dang, man. Look at that damage. I don't need ages. What do I? Oh, well, that sucks. That sucks, man. Oh, Nemean is doing a lot, but he is just healing with Aussie. Yeah, let's let's rush Toxic Blade right now. We need it. Bet that Sunder wasn't upgraded, but I didn't have the money. Oh, man. Him not going defense is giving him a snowball right now, but I should be able to come back with it. But the thing is that he's already so much gold ahead, I don't, I don't think it's going to affect him. He's already three levels ahead now. Great. It's all because I let him take those blue buffs, man. They add up. They add up big time. Just smush it. I have to back up. He has a dash. Can't stay so close. Yep. So much mobility. That's slow, too. Toxic Blade will help quite a bit. He's just going flat pen, which is interesting. Maybe I should go double defense. He'll do a good amount of damage. Let's get <laughs> I don't want to attack him with that Aussie proc. Plus, I, with my one, he had too much health. He was still lived, and he's gonna take my blue buff again, dude. Oh my god! Stop taking my blue buff. He has his ult again. I can't fight him. Oh, he's going for all three buffs, man. I'm so far behind. I can't stop him. This is the life of a guardian again. No, dude. I gotta run again. He's used his ult. I had to take too much damage. Get Toxic Blade. At least I have some pen now. Some flat pen against his no defense, which is actually gonna increase my damage quite a bit. Yeah, I'm doing way more damage now. Plus, he can't heal as much. Okay, next I'm gonna upgrade my Sunder. I'm gonna try to before I get anything else. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a waste of relic right now. We'll need more wards to make sure he doesn't take full demon. He's going for his blue buff right now. I'm pretty sure. Or is he going for minis? Reach. Oh, that wall's too thick. 
Back, upgrade Sunder. What is he getting? Toxic Blade? He's just going pure flat pen. Maybe I should go double defense. Then again, he has room for an Executioner last. That build hurts. That build hurts big time. Okay. Get his ult. Go. He's gonna use his two, it doesn't matter. No! Didn't... Wait, if you're using Aegis, the ultimate doesn't apply? Really? Really? I got both of his relics there, I'm happy. I mean, I he got both mine too. But Sunder's pretty short cooldown. So if Chiron ults you and you're using Aegis, it won't reapply the mark? Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, now he has Toxic Blade. Yikes, man. He's an entire item ahead of me right now. I don't see what I'm supposed to do. Like I said, X Gamer is a very good player, so you know me. I don't put in imagine he's going to be misplaying very often. Yes, it does. Level nineteen. Okay. Probably get. Yeah, so instead of Demon Grip, I'll get Telkines next since he doesn't have defense. I'm surprised I'm doing this badly, considering he doesn't have defense, you know? Like, honestly. It's because he has a second life with his ult. All he has to do is burst me down where I'm close to dead, and then just ult with a huge damage ult since he doesn't have defense. Kind of works. It's a risky playstyle, but it works. And my blue buff again. Nothing I can do about that, though. Need a ward up. I'm gonna go place a ward on Bull Demon. Pretty sure that's what he's, what he's doing right now. Gonna put this little guy right here. Like he's not. Hmm. After red buff. I honestly don't know. Just honestly don't know. As long as I have that ward there, he can't surprise me with it. Oh, he's getting Titan's Bane. Well, there goes our double defense idea. Could still work, but I don't know. He has so much flat pen. He didn't have shell. There we go. Like he could have ulted, but I had to. I still had way too much health where he couldn't have killed me. But yeah, I think that's his playstyle. That's his playstyle. It's pretty much just go all in, right? Get me down to like a quarter health, and then right before he dies, he ults. Except that time he didn't get me low enough. If he ulted, it could maybe would have been close, but he wouldn't be able to use his two after because he would have died, right? A strategy I could try to use against that is try to get him low enough where he does die in the ult and just try to make sure I have enough health to live. Because usually Chiron finishes you off with the two after his ult, right? And I don't think he can do that against me. I'm going to back early just because how scary he is right now. You know me. I got to put in a and he can't use his two after his ult if he's if he dies in his ult, right? So he'll have to finish me with only his ult. That could be good. But again, man, that build is terrifying. There's no defense, but still, it is it is just so much flat pen. Going for he is. He's a going for it. I can't take it. Drop him. You have telcons. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. There we go. He's Aegis. There we go. He couldn't finish me with the two because he died. Let's push. Let's push right now. We have an entire minion wave. Just need to keep it alive a little bit longer. Oh, we have enough damage to take this. Oh, but there's another minion wave. Try to attack the Phoenix in it at the same time. Try to tank it for the minions. Oh, I guess not. Fine. As long as I don't leave, the backdoor protections are still here. Use my two. It gives me protections. Oh, that's good. 
Now I'm I can't quite finish the game even though Titan is super squishy because you know I'm I'm not quite a hunter kind of Now he is getting defense so we get demonic grip. We have full build. Uh I mean except for selling boots. And we don't have power potion, but still this is like looking very good. This game is so close. He did get defense, so not like he didn't. Fear of the Mages could be better, but at the same time, I think I need the attack speed right now. And now he's tanky. Or a little bit tanky. Not that tanky. He's quite a bit of health. <gasps> I missed him? No! That was my chance. That was a huge chance. <clears throat> That's okay. He does have red buff. Um, I think I'm going to back and get power potion, because I don't want to fight him without power potion right now. Let's grab some <clears throat> oh my god. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. We lose this. We have to go back to Sobek. If we win it, we go back to Terra. Alright, so Aegis. Let's just blend this little I don't I don't know if I should waste the gold on upgrading Aegis. I think it's more important to get my uh get my speed potion right now. I'm the quarter health down. I need to back up. Have him fight into the fire minions a little bit. Barely out of range. Yeah, I'm losing this fight right now, but I can heal. No toxic blades applied. He ran away. I can get a pull, win this fight. Uh, it looks like he's back in. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Still can't afford speed potion. Try and keep those toxic blade rocks applied. That way, when the wave comes, he can't heal. And I try to get the pull because every time I use my other ability, does it work? Here it is. Yes! I just burst him down. He was CC'd. He had a small opportunity to use his ultimate, but as long as I ate just one of the ult things, I would have. Won that fight. Uh, that should be game. He's dead for 33 seconds. Phoenix is not coming up for a while. Should be game. Look at this damage. Maybe Solanus is a hunter. New Titan is... New Titan's Garbaggio. GG, man. What a good game. These are the games I miss. When it's not an OP god. It's like such a good close game. It's, that was such an interesting Chiron strategy, by the way. GG will play, man. Yeah, Titan is really bad. Oh my god. What an interesting Chiron strategy. You just go in, try to do as much health as possible, and then right before you die, you ult. And it's like, it would work most of the time as long as you get them pretty far down because if you have a full damage build. Excuse me. If you have a full damage build, your ultimate's going to hit hard. And since you're at close range, you're not going to miss. So I kind of like that strategy, although it's very risky. Uh, that's not the way I play Kyron, but I, I can appreciate it. Different play styles, mid, mid to low tier game. Very good back and forth. Okay, this was a lot of fun. GG, you guys. Thank you for watching, and make sure to tune in next time for whatever god we play, because we're not doing Guardian Gauntlet, but then after that, we'll do Guardian Gauntlet, where it's Terra. Okay, see you guys. And I just want to say a huge thank you to my patrons. I want to shout out Zach the guy and the son of the muffin man for being some of my top tier patrons. Really appreciate it. it means a lot to me and lets me keep doing what I'm doing. Thank you guys so much.